What's up, everyone? I'm back again with another cool project to show you. First off, I know it's Labor Day weekend, so some of you guys might be wondering, Psh, what is this guy doing inside all the time making videos? Um, and the reason why I'm here is, one, I was actually supposed to be studying for the GRE so I can get my master's degree, but everyone knows it's a little bit boring, and I got sidetracked. And two, this project I'm going to show you right here is actually pretty dang cool, so you should just be quiet and watch the video. So today we'll be talking about measuring heart rate once again, but this time using your finger. If you remember last time, we asked the question, what is video? And use changes in color in video to extract information about our heart rate. This time we go a level lower and ask, what is color? Well, the basics is that when light hits an object, various frequencies are absorbed or transmitted through the object, whereas other frequencies are reflected. If this seems complicated, just remember, it's as simple as banana. The rainbow comes in, yellow light bounces back, and we see yellow bananas. Now, visible light is only a small portion of what we call the electromagnetic spectrum, and on the two sides of visible light, we have ultraviolet radiation, which is emitted by the sun, and infrared radiation, which we care about in this case. The reason why we care is that there's this protein in blood called hemoglobin, and hemoglobin is really good at absorbing infrared light. So there's actually this device called a pulse oximeter, where you have your light come in from your fingertip, and then on the other side, a sensor picks up the amount of light that makes it through. And this actually measures the amount of hemoglobin in your blood, as well as what your heart rate is. But that's a little bit complicated, so we'll go simpler. This setup that we have is called photoplethysmography. And in this case, your infrared light comes in on the bottom of your finger, and your sensor measures the amount of light that comes back. From this sensor, it goes through a bunch of circuits, and the reason why you need these is so that you go from a really nasty signal like you see at the top to a really clean signal on the bottom where you can easily see what your pulse is. Alright, so this is the actual circuit that I built. Here you have the Arduino Mega, or basically a small computer which I use to power my circuitry as well as light up these LEDs on this side. And then on here you have your infrared light, which I actually can't see but you can catch in the video which is pretty cool, as well as your receiver on the other side. Um, and then here you have the circuit that I used to clean up the signal and then you should see this guy turn on and off and these guys flash up and down as soon as I put my finger on this sensor. So I put it over this guy, it usually takes a while to settle but soon enough you see my heart rate. And that's pretty much it. 